Kakan or Kaganorkagan, Mongolian, comma Khan, is a title in the Mongolian language equal to the status of emperor and used to refer to someone who rules a Khaganate or empire. This title was later adopted by Turkic peoples, Old Turkic, comma Khan. It may also be translated as Khan of Khans, equivalent to King of Kings. In modern Mongolian, the title became Khan with the G sound becoming almost silent or non-existent. That is a very light voiceless vela fricative. The G in modern Turkish Kigan is also silent. Since the civil war of the Mongol Empire, emperors of the Yuan dynasty held the title of Kagan and their successors in Mongolia continued to have the title. Kagan is a common Turkish name in Turkey. The common Western rendering as Great Khan, or Grand Khan, notably in the case of the Mongol Empire, is translation of Yek Kagan. Great Emperor or Dot. The title was first seen in a speech between 283 and 289, when the Mongolic Xianbai chief Tuya Khan tried to escape from his younger stepbrother Murong Hui and began his route from the Liaodong Peninsula to the areas of Odo's desert. In the speech, one of the Murong's general named Yinal addressed him as Qian. Comma later as comma some sources suggests that Tuya Khan might also have used the title after settling at King High Lake in the 3rd century, the Ran Khaganate, 330-555, was the first people to use the titles Khagan and Khan for their emperors, replacing the Chani or the Ksungnu, whom Grosit and others assume to be Turkic. Backslash however, Many scholars believe the Rin were proto-Mongols. Backslash the Avakarganate 567-804, who may have included Rin elements after the Gokturks crushed the Rin ruling Mongolia, also used this title. The Avars invaded Europe, and for over a century ruled the Carpathian region. Westerners Latinized the title Kagan into Kaganus or Kaganet Ugaro Principibus Unorum, the secret history of the Mongols, written for that very dynasty clearly distinguishes Khagan and Khan, only Genghis Khan and his ruling descendants are called Khagan, while other rulers are referred to as Khan. Khagan or Khan refers to emperor or king in the Mongolian language, however, yet Khagan means great Khagan or grand emperor. The Mongol Empire began to politically split with the Talud civil war in 1260-1264 and the death of Kublai Khan in 1294, but the term at Khagan, great Khan, or emperor, was still used by the emperors of the Yuan dynasty, 1271-1368, who assumed the role of emperor of China, and after the fall of the Yuan in China, 1368, it continued to be used in Mongolia during the northern Yuan dynasty. Thus, the Yuan is sometimes referred to as the Empire of the Great Khan, coexisting with the independent Mongol Khanates in the west including the Shigatai Khanate and Golden Horde. Only the Ilkhanate truly recognized the Yuan's overlordship as allies, though it was effectively autonomous. Because Kublai founded the Yuan, the members of the other branches of the Borjigin could take part in the election of a new Khagan as the supporters of one or other of the contestants, but they could not enter the contest as candidates themselves. Later Yuan emperors made peace with the three western khanates of the Mongol Empire and were considered as their nominal suzerain. The nominal supremacy, while based on nothing like the same foundations as that of the earlier Khagans, such as the continued border clashes among them, did last for a few decades, until the Yuan dynasty fell in China. 1368 After the breakdown of Mongol Empire and the fall of the Yuan dynasty in the 14th century, the Mongols turned into a political turmoil. Dian Khan, 1464-1517-1543, once revived emperor's authority and recovered its reputation in Mongolia, but with the distribution of his empire among his sons and relatives as fiefs it again caused decentralized rule. The last Khagan of the Chahars, Ligdan Khan died in 1634 while fighting the Qing dynasty founded by the Manchu people. In contemporary Mongolian language the word Khan and Khan have different meanings, while English language usually does not differentiate between them. The title is also used as a generic term for a king or emperor, as comma as in Khan, as in, Ispanian Khan Juan Carlos, King, Khan of Spain Juan Carlos. The early Khagans of the Mongol Empire were, Genghis Khan. 
1206-1227, Ajidai Khan, 1229-1241, Guayuk Khan, 1246-1248, Monk Khan, 1251-1259. The title became associated with the Ashina ruling clan of the Gokturks and their dynastic successes among such peoples as the Khazis, cf. The compound military title Kagan Beck minor rulers were rather relegated to the lower title of Khan. Both Kagan as such and the Turkish form Hukan, with the specification in Arabic al Bahrain will Bahrain, meaning literally of both lands and both seas, or rather fully in Ottoman Turkish Hukan al Brunvalbar, were among the titles in the official full style of the great Sultan, and later Caliph, of the Ottoman Empire reflecting the historical legitimation of the dynasty's rule as political successor to various conquered, often Islamized, states. The title began, Sultan Han Nn, Padishka, Hunka, Sovereign of the House of Osman, Sultan of Sultans, Khan of Khans, Commander of the Faithful and Successor of the Prophet of the Lord of the Universe, next followed a series of specific regional titles, starting with Protector of the Holy Cities of Mecca. Medina and Jerusalem. Chinese Kagan's Emperor Tai Zong of Tang was crowned Tankian, or Heavenly Kagan after defeating the Chuju, Gok Turks. A later letter sent by the Tang court to the Yenai Kyrgyz Khan explained that the peoples of the northwest had requested Tang Tai Zong to become the Heavenly Kahan. The Tang dynasty Chinese emperors were recognized as Kagans of the Turks from 665-705, however, we have two appeal letters from the Turkic hybrid rulers, Ashina Kutuntad in 727, the Yabgu of Tokaristan, and Yina Tudunkul in 741, the King of Tashkent, addressing Emperor Xuanzong of Tang as Tankian during the Umayyad expansion. Among the Norsemen and Slavs, in the early 10th century, the Rus people employed the title of Kagan, or Kahan reported by the Persian geographer Ibn Rustah who wrote between 903 and 913. It is believed that the tradition endured in the 11th century, as the Metropolitan Bishop of Kaif, Hilarion, calls both Grand Prince Vladimir, 978 to 1015, and Grand Prince Yaroslav, 1019 to 1054, by the title of Kagan while a graffito on the walls of the Cathedral of Street Sophia in Kiev gives the same title to the son of Yaroslav, Grand Prince Sviatoslav II, 1073-1076. The Metropolitan of Kiev, Hilarion, called the Grand Princess Kigan in his sermons Sermon on Law and Grace and Confessions of Faith, written in 1040s. He called Volodymyr the Grand Kagan of our land and Yaroslav as the faithful Kagan. There is brief writing on a temple in Kiev that reads, Lord, save Kagan of ours. Many believe that it is about the son of Yaroslav, Grand Prince Sviatoslav II, 1073-1076.